Hello, my name is Mike Johnson, and I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2016 Thor Motor Coach Ace 30.1. This is a short motorhome at 30. Point, 30 feet, 31 feet, it's under 31 feet. So it's very similar in size to the C class with the van in the front, but this is an A class. So it has all the A class equipment. And stop and listen here. This has an 8,000 pound trailer hitch, which is very unusual. You don't find too many motorhomes rated from the factory to tow 8,000 pounds. So uh, it doesn't look like it's been towing anything but it is an 8,000 pound tow hitch. It's heavier duty than most that you'll find on a Class A motorhome. 8,000 pound towing hitch, it has the backup camera, side view cameras, two slide outs, outside entertainment system, power electric awning. And we're gonna show you some of these features here, so. Let me open my awning. So we're going to open the, it has an electric awning with LED light, strip lighting. You just hit the button by the door here and open up your awning. It opens right up. You'll be ready for camp in just moments. It's very nice. The older RVs you had to get stick out and wind it up and unwind it. And it's got this nice LED accent lighting strip here so it lights up the whole RV like a lighted sign at night so you, people can see that you're having a good time and if you want they can hear you too because this has the Bluetooth wireless music streaming outside entertainment speaker system so I can push play and then I start streaming my music you have an outside TV so the TV has a digital tuner. Demonstrating, this is a full high fidelity stereo. I'm gonna pause that so I can continue my video so it doesn't get flagged for copyright or whatever. But I'm controlling the outside speakers from my phone through the Bluetooth unit inside. You got a digital television, 32 inch HD TV. And I'm getting, I'm in the middle of parking lot. You saw I'm in the middle of parking lot. This is digital TV. So let's watch uh, 7.1. ABC News is on. We got high definition picture in the middle of a parking lot. Over the air broadcast, that's not satellite. You can hook up a satellite too, but this is just straight over the air. You've got, in this area, I'm picking up 128 digital channels. Let me turn that off, put it away, go on to the next phase of the video. This RV has three HD TVs and they pick up, each of them are showing they're picking up 120 channels. Depending on where you're at, you may have pick up over 200 channels or you may not pick up any channels if you're in the middle of a box canyon. So outside entertainment system, power awning. The speakers are spaced fairly far apart. These are waterproof uh, marine speakers so they can survive outside they're like the kind you would put on a boat and so you can enjoy your music you control the volume from out here let me show you that again because maybe you missed it start to the next song so i'm controlling it from right here so you can access your phone playlist and I'm wirelessly controlling the speakers from my phone which is really nice then when the cops come you just hit pause and it's like music what music so pretty nice or you can be a good neighbor that's even better anyways this has as I mentioned side view cameras you got these big fancy chrome mirrors with a wide convex power heated and power aiming and you got side view cameras right here in the mirror. These are color cameras and they actually have very good night vision. So from the camera perspective, 
you get a nice view if there's any vehicles on the left or right side. These cameras activate when you turn on the turn signal to check your left side or your right side depending on the turn signal activated. You also have a, a sneak peek window here which gives you a view if there's a car down here or a motorcycle or something like that you can spot them or bicycle you can see them down here this is a very glossy clean motorhome it is a 2016 this is the new body style for 2015 was a little bit different so new for 2016 they have these frameless windows which are clean mounted to the outside of the motorhome they're a very clean look to the motorhome you also have corner windows in the bedroom slide out which if you want to park out in someplace beautiful you can open your windows in the morning and watch the squirrels from your bed without even having to get out of bed it has a quick fill water filling point so when you want to add water to your water tank this is a quick fill you just stick the garden hose and fill it up some other motorhomes you have to turn a valve and do this to put water this one you can fill up your water tank in just minutes it's a piece of cake and there is full pass-through storage this reinforced compartment if I put my camera in the correct mode and this is a lighted compartment so you can if you have folding tables you can put your folding tables in here and then you've got this mega compartment over here as well so this bigger compartment as you can see you could probably smuggle me in there and it has a light so you can load it up it's also deep it's about six feet deep roughly so you can put folding tables in here as well or chairs maybe even a bicycle will fit in here it's nice to be able to fit a bicycle in a compartment um, I think a bicycle will fit but I can't promise you that it depends on the bicycle definitely kids trikes and scooters and stuff will definitely fit in there and then the tires are in excellent condition because of course it is a 2016 We'll take a look at the tires at the end of the video we're gonna look underneath the chassis and I'll I'll roll around under there and show you what it looks like underneath and the previous owner did reinforce this compartment with some wood in case you had something extra heavy you wanted to stow in there make it a little stronger outside TV that locks up these are LED lights this coach has most all of the lights on this are LED lighting and then these frameless windows they really give it a nice clean look Especially on the front window, it looks really clean. Go up and look at the awning fabric. Now before we go inside, I'll show you a few more things. This has slide topper awnings, that's fabric awnings that cover the slide outs. Now that keeps, if you go to a beautiful campground under a nice big tree, you got to have those awnings over your slide out. A lot of them don't. Like Jayco, for example, a lot of Jaycos don't have awnings over the slide outs and some other lower end ones. But the reason why that's important, if you go under a big tree and a squirrel drops an acorn on top of you, that's going to wake you up pretty early in the morning, but it's only going to fall on the uh, fabric and it's going to roll right off the side when you put the slide in. Otherwise, you're going to be up there with a broom cleaning up leaves and acorns and whatever else gets up there but the fabric of the awnings are all in excellent shape this is what two years old it's a 2016 and then this has the Schwintech slide out mechanism the back window is an emergency escape window in case you're not a good cook and you set fire in the kitchen the people in the back can still get out uh, Hydraulic leveling jacks with automatic leveling. We have the generator and the AC running right now. There's no physical damage on this coach. It has not been crashed. No accidents at all. It's extremely clean. 
and it's glossy and shiny all the way around the fiberglass the 16s have a little bit nicer fiberglass than the older's like the the 12s and 13s had more problems with the fiberglass this has the newer better fiberglass exterior it's really nice so let's go inside and take a look so I can answer my doorbell so let's take a look inside this Thor 30.1 Ace Evo so they call this the Ace Evo which means it's the evolution because it has a lot of similarity to, similarity to the easy to drive C-Class but it's actually an easier to drive A-Class motorhome so it's 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 nice and easy to drive it has a similar floor plan to some of the C-Class but you've got a lot more room in here and a lot more features sleep a lot more people if you need to so of course we've walked to the back this is the rear queen bed notice our ladder here for the front bunk bed this has an electric front bunk so you have a full booth oversized dinette you've got the lounge lazy boy recliner sofa here uh, both of these have uh, lazy boy function and they got the center console in the middle that you can open up and store your goodies in the center and then the front seats swivel around so you have additional seating area so for seating you have two four six eight eight seats in here but it's got this big electric front overhead bed so on the entry here you have a power switch to lower that bed just hit the switch and it'll lower down and then you're ready to sleep some guests very simple and you just hook the ladder on right here but you'll notice there's still room to sit down underneath here so I put my camera on the table here I have some head clearance so you could still be entertaining your guests here having a conversation it's no problem so let's walk through and show individual features so first you have a large TV up here with uh, which gets digital over the air broadcasts so you can sit here in the sofa in a comfortable position and you can watch TV while you stay out of the way unlike the some TVs that are hidden where that mirror is you have a nice mirror there which lets someone sitting here you can still see at the front uh, so we got the news going we can change this is over the air broadcast we're not plugged into anything we're getting uh, digital HD channels so we got 9.1 scroll down 5.3 5.2 5.1 keep going the news is going so we've got our news on and it's a Samsung TV it has storage behind the TV so you can release it and use this as a cabinet for like a dry goods pantry and keep stuff behind the TV and it's a ventilated compartment so it's got a lot of room you got all these nice cabinets you got a microwave oven this RV has been professionally cleaned including the refrigerator this has got your standard motorhome refrigerator it's been professionally cleaned they stuck the towel in there so that they know so that I would know that they cleaned it so because it was clean when we started but it's clean now it's not lived in notice all the drawers are not filthy inside let's look under the kitchen sink it's got an extra air conditioning filter in there but um, it's nice and clean they added some extra outlets you have an extra outlet right here by the table so if you want to plug in and the table has cup holders in it which is nice 
So if you can sit here and do your gadgets and you have easy access to a AC plug. They also put an extra outlet right here under the vent area. So if you have a George Foreman grill or something, you've got easy access to the plug. Um, so there's extra outlets added. It's got a separate uh, shower, nice clean shower. The housekeeping professionally cleaned it. It's nice and clean. They hung some extra apparatus in there to for soap dishes and so forth. Now next to your queen bed back here is your entertainment system, which has the Bluetooth connectivity. So you have a stereo right here by the bed. So you can select your inside speakers, which are directly over the bed, or your outside speakers. Got to get my camera to cooperate here. So this device, if you're laying in bed, you can control the stereo from your phone or you can touch the controls on it. It'll get FM, AM, CD, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Bluetooth. Now this is a separate system from the one in the dash. You've also got a cubby down here to store your gadgets. They can be plugged in and charging while you're at your bed. You've got the bedside windows so you get a nice view of the scenic outdoors or you can close them for privacy and you can release the levers and open them for ventilation so this has these fantastic fans in the overhead which are the three speed quiet fans actually it's, this is a four speed quiet fan so you just open this up and then if you don't want to use the AC you can just turn on your fans on low medium high or really high speed and you get some cross ventilation when you're out in the wilderness so you don't have to be running the AC or the generator in these nice cool places that you're going to visit. The interior is nice. It does have the cushion for turning the dinette into a sofa which is stowed in here. You've got your uh, lighted compartment here with LED lights. You've got a lot of wardrobe storage here. All these drawers pull out and they fu they're fully extending so you've got places for socks and pants and shirts and stuff like that fully extending drawers go on to the next phase so as we're showing you more features in the bedroom of course there's a there's another nook and cranny little cubby down here to store stuff on the uh, this side of the bed, you've got storage over the bed where you can put your stuff. And you've got little reading lights which you can turn on and off. So you can read your books and, and you've got a nice headboard in here. You've got power outlet right here. Wall switches, this is your slide extend and this is your roof uh, light switch. And you've got a nice bedroom TV with storage behind. That's an LG TV. Here's your build sheet. I'll take a picture and I'll put this in my photos. Shows it is a 2006 Thor Ace 30.1. It's got some various serial numbers for the equipment that came with it. And again, the, the bedroom TV is getting over the air broadcast, so we're watching channel two now, but we can go to uh, 11. Oops, not 111. Right now in this area, I'm getting over 150 channels. That's uh, channel 11. Fox coming in. You've got extra. I can move my ladder here to the front. and Extra storage right here in these drawers. There's a lot of drawer storage in this motorhome. A lot more room to walk around because if you notice the size of the floor, you just sweep it clean with a broom. There's no carpet in the bedroom. You can just sweep it clean. Let's walk all the way around. We've got room to walk all the way around here. All the way around the bed. All the roof lights, these are all LED lights. LED lights in the ceiling and you've got additional speakers up here for stereo speakers. And then we can show you the sleeping arrangements. So if you want to use your dinette for sleeping, you just lift off the table and you remove these two posts and the table sits down on the little shelf right here, turns this into a deck and then you put the cushion in between, turns it into a bed. It's very simple. 
if you have that if you but to make life easier you have this overhead bunk area and it's got nice deep storage up here so you've got a place up here that you can stow your pillows and your blankets and all these cubbies up here so when the bed folds away there's no hassle and uh this is a very sturdy one this is not like some that are hanging from what look like seat belts this is a nice sturdy overhead bunk it works very well it's very easy to use just hit the switch any not too tall person can hit the switch and operate the bunk for you and set it up in just moments and it's held up so it doesn't rattle around when you're driving so that's nice and this also gives you a center table so you can have extra room to dine so if you have six people or eight people you have extra table space you can put your table plates and paper plates and so forth and then these seats of course swivel around or they recline um, and notice there's even enough room if you really wanted to invite the whole town with you you have room you could probably set up two air mattresses on the floor but uh, better don't invite too many people tell them to bring their own RV so one last place to take a look at it um, before we go to the bathroom this does have a full LP oven which is kind of a big deal because sometimes when you go to a campground they have quiet time like in national parks or state parks they'll say you can't run the generator after 8 p.m. So if you go in there and you want to make some popcorn, you've got the uh, propane fired appliances that you can use. But uh, if they don't have a plug to plug in because you're doing what's called dry camping, the LP oven is very handy. Let's go in the restroom. Also, this is your level test indicator. It shows your various levels. Starts and stops the generator. Let's ha see how many hours on the generator. I start the generator. It has 25 hours point three on the generator. Not 253 is 25 point three hours on the generator. So the generator has been almost not used at all. And in the restroom, you've got these little towel racks. Um, you've got a paper towel installed rack. You've got various storage that you can take advantage of a wall mounted light switch and running water if the water pump is on I'll turn the water pump on and then let's see how the water flow is nice and smooth hot and cold running water we've got to show you that from the kitchen as well so this has dual water heaters gas and electric some motorhomes only have an electric water heater but this also has, I mean, only have a gas water heater, but this has gas and electric. So you can also rinse off all your dishes. Very easy. It's got a nice little backsplash. They put a little salt and pepper and spice rack in here. It's a little bit of personalization there, but I'm just going to leave that. That doesn't bother me. So you've got towel rack installed. Very nice Thor Ace. 30.1 let's walk around again give you the full rundown and then we're gonna go outside and take a look at the outside as well only 25 hours on the dinner this motorhome looks and feels like brand new still it is a 2016 so what it's what about two years old hasn't had a lot of time uh, to be beaten down uh, Looks like they took really good care of it. It's really nice and clean. And then it's post recession, which is really nice. It's got the newest, latest and greatest technology that it was designed for. Let's go outside and take a look. Oh wait, we're gonna look at the dash first before we go outside. So let's show you putting the bed away before we get up and take a look at the dash and instrument panel. You just hit the switch and it pulls the bed right up and puts it away. You don't want to do this if somebody's laying up there. That's why they give you a key, so no horse play with this. You don't want to take a chance of damaging it or pinching somebody. It just puts it away, nice and secure. 
locks into the magnetic clamps and then you have a conversation mirror up there so I can just you can take this table out and then let's start up the engine so this has the side view cameras which when I was showing you the outside I promised I would show you So with this radio, you want to turn on the radio and then it'll be able to pull up the side view cameras. Right now the odometer is showing 12,714 miles, that's 12,714 on the odometer. So right now I have the left turn signal on and I'm getting the left side view camera. So let's turn on the right turn signal and then we get the right side view camera. Now. This has fully automatic leveling jacks. So to operate the leveling jacks, you press on and then manual or auto, depending on what you prefer. And you say, well, they're automatic. Why would you want to use manual? But you might want to use manual a lot of the time because if you're driving up in the mountains or down by the beach and you on the highway and you see a nice turnout, maybe next to a river, not even a campground it's a nice little turnout but maybe the motorhome's leaning to the left a little bit you don't you just raise the jacks on the right side to uh if it's leaning to the right or raise the jacks on the left side only just so you can pull in the turnout and be comfortable and make yourself at home in a beautiful turnout somewhere and have lunch so if i put it in reverse then I have the rear view camera engaged and you can see the rear view so put it back in park you can enable the rear view camera to stay on when you're just driving along the road and it has nice ice cold dash air conditioning there is an HDMI video port so if you want to plug in a video game console or something down here uh, you can feed HDMI signal out to the TVs there's a little microphone down here because it has a Bluetooth hands-free so you can connect this radio with Bluetooth and play music and so forth and um, that works quite well but the dash AC this this RV even has a, a dash topping cover to protect the dash from the Sun and it's got that uh, UV shield to further protect your interior you've got these side curtains which you can close off for privacy and when I was outside I showed you the side cameras were in the actual mirrors and then we have that little peeking window where we can see down if there's a motorcycle or bicycle next to us we can peek out and look down there and get a good view this newer Ford V10s have a self check that they can do so if you press setup and you press reset it'll do a systems check and I go through and I'll check the systems like engine temp, transmission temp, oil pressure. Everything's okay. 225 to empty. System check complete. So it tells you how many gallons you, you have left in the tank before or how many miles you can go before you're empty. And of course this has cruise control. It has a tilt steering wheel, intermittent wipers and one important feature to point out it has tow haul mode before we go outside tow haul mode is a big deal so on older Fords they used to have overdrive off but on the newer Fords they have tow haul mode and that's a big deal and I'm going to explain why when you're driving up a hill or more importantly when you're coming down a hill grade you want to engage tow haul mode even if you're not towing a trailer and the reason is when you hit the brake the transmission will automatically downshift the, through the gears for you to help you coming down your grade and that keeps your foot off the brake so your brake temperatures don't get hot and also you're not riding your brakes down a hill so if if as you're coming down the hill you discover an, emer an emergency when you're turning a corner comes into visibility and you stomp on your brakes that gives more warning to the drivers behind you because you weren't riding your brakes down the hill 
So tow haul mode, I use it a lot when I'm driving in the mountain grades in motorhomes. I do drive about 8,000 miles a year in motorhomes. Not in this one, but in various different motorhomes and it works out pretty good. So I'm trying to keep my video short. There is also a little desk on the right and you pull a little thing over it flips over and then you have a little computer desk or iPod desk that you can sit in the front and let's continue on with the outside tour so let's go on a little test drive of this Thor Ace 2016 30.1 let's see if I can park it in a parking space with minimal effort now if I go some parking lot I like to park away from the building so I can take up four spaces but I can park it in one and a half but it's a lot easier to get out if you have four if you park close to the building to the entrance you're being obnoxious if you do that but if you park further away on my backup camera I can see straight down I can see the lane lines I'm all the way to the end and see we have quite a bit of room in here so easy to park easy to get out of the parking space I'm only taking two parking spaces so this again has the side view cameras so when I turn on my side view cameras when you're turning it's easy to drive you know this is an A-class but it's short for an A-class at 30 feet and when you're turning you want to watch the rear tires and make sure they're not going to run over the curb so you go just a little bit further out than a passenger car and then we're at the stop sign we've got the right turn signal on we're all clear we're going to accelerate up we can watch this tire goes around and clears the curb 362 horsepower engaged and this rv goes nice and straight steering wheel is straight going straight down the road here alignment is good tires are good and I have excellent visibility out my mirror over there excellent excellent visibility on my mirror here I can see my lane lines nice straight driving motorhome go on to the next phase of my video one thing I'll point out about this motorhome it does have a very smooth ride compared with a lot of the heavier motorhomes I've driven this one with the 18,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating it drives nice and smooth it takes bumps more like a Cadillac compared with some of the other ones. I've driven motorhomes and they're like driving with concrete tires, but this one is nice and smooth and it really uh, takes bumps nicely. So let's go underneath this 30.1 and take a look at the chassis and inspect that. I got my camera down here. First, we're going to notice it has the rock solid tow guard on the back which means if you want to tow a trailer or a vehicle behind it'll keep the rocks from flying up and chipping up the vehicle or trailer you're going to tow so put my camera in the right angle now we have an 8,000 pound trailer hitch it's rated 8,000 pound trailer or 500 pound tongue weight it's unusual to find an 8,000 pound hitch on any motorhomes smaller than a big heavy duty diesel even a lot of some of the diesels only have a 5,000 pound hitch so we're going to go underneath and look at the undercarriage and suspension I'm going to put my camera in the angle here now let's start with the leveling jacks they're nice uh, they look like new there's no leaks from the leveling jacks the rear axle and suspension has the Bilstein uh, shock absorbers and notice the differential has a big cooling grill on there um, big aluminum housing to keep the uh, cooling nice and clean it's got four-wheel disc brakes and the tires have excellent tread as I bounce around underneath 
the divots on the cement. It does have a rear anti-roll uh, stabilizer bar on here. And the springs and suspension look clean. There's no rust or corrosion. I picked this up in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, this motorhome. So it was not in a stormy climate. It was in a nice dry environment. So there's no signs of rust under here. You've got the electric step. It does have California and a 50, what they call 50 state emissions. All of these F53s are like that. So that's your leveling jacks. And this has the um, safety plus steering stabilizer installed on it as well, which gives you extra stability and wind conditions and things like that. It's uh, if you ever had a tire failure, that's supposed to improve the safety. So it's got that safety plus steering stabilizer. Here's your front tire. And then um, front shocks, your radiator and grill, excellent condition. I mean, this is a 2016, so you wouldn't want to find a lot of problems under here. Your tire tread on the front tires, no leaks from the engine. It's got an engine oil cooler on it. Now this is the 18,000 pound gross vehicle weight rated chassis. So it offers a little bit softer ride than some of the heavier duties like the 22,000 pound chassis or even a 24,000 pound chassis. And with the 8,000 pound towing capacity, it's pretty nice. I'll try to keep my camera in the right viewing angle here so that you can see underneath the coach and then look under the slide out here it's all in good condition your generator no leaks under the generator everything appears hooked up correctly the rear differential and axle from the opposite side the tire treads and your leveling jack again looks nice so my name is Mike Johnson give me a call 951-681-2101. Thank you.